Resident Evil 2 Remake, a great modernization of a great classic. Resident Evil 2 Remake is of course a remake of the 1998 classic with the same name. The heart of what makes Resident Evil 2 Resident Evil 2 still beats in this updated body. Resident Evil 2 is a survival horror game that tells the story of Leon and Claire. You're able to choose which character you play as. Your initial playthrough of this game will take around 6.5 hours, but much like Nier Automata, technically the full game is both playthroughs combined. But also like Nier Automata, Nah, when the credits roll, the credits roll. You're missing only a sliver of unique sections by only playing one side of the story. You can get the rest from YouTube as for the most part, each playthrough shares the same main sections and boss fights. I chose to play as rookie officer Leon Kennedy. It sets out to put a stop to Umbrella Corp after an outbreak of a virus turns the citizens of Raccoon City into zombies. This is very much a fetch quest, explore, backtrack, save, combine, set up, and execute type of game. One that can at first feel quite overwhelming, but once you get into the groove of things, it's satisfying exploring every inch of a room for keys, items, and clues to saves for upgrades so that you're able to carry more items in your inventory or upgrade your weapons. And the game does a great job of color coding rooms where you still have items to search for or that are completely cleaned out, so you never feel like you're running around with your head cut off. Though in your way of each room are zombies. You'll spend most of your time in the first hours of this game boarding up windows and trying to gather everything you can to survive as you inch your way through this massive police station solving small problems that lead to a chain reaction of a large problems being solved, all while being stalked by an invincible monster. But like Resident Evil 7, the moment the game ventures away from the beginning section into new areas, the game starts to lose its charm and by its end becomes a bit of a chore to get through, though the keyword here is bit, because it still manages to be enjoyable as it sways on the verge of chore. Just as you begin to feel the loop of the game is getting old, it's nearing its end. Resident Evil 2 puts a nice bow on top and gives you the option to do it one more time for more scenarios, cutscenes, and the true end. This is where I happily walked away and went to YouTube. Resident Evil 2 does a great job at being an enjoyable and terrifying experience, especially if you play on the more harder difficulties. It doesn't overstay its welcome, it never becomes frustrating, it never does too much of the same thing. This is a near perfectly balanced survival horror type game. It stays true to what it was and brings it up to today's standards so that we can all enjoy it the way most remember it. I give Resident Evil 2 Remake an 8.5 out of 10. If you played Resident Evil 2 Remake, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at SuperKenGaming. Thanks for watching, and of course, stay beautiful. If you like this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can continue to bring you reviews for all the newest games at patreon.com slash superkengaming. You'll get access to early audio and video versions of reviews, exclusive Let's Play videos, and you'll even get to choose the game I play next. Thanks for watching, and of course, stay beautiful.